knows as well as I do. There's much evidence to support it. Theories. There are theories. Notice how Jesus and Mary are clothed. Mirror images of each other. The mind sees what it chooses to see. And venturing into the even more bizarre, uh, notice how Jesus and Mary appear to be joined at the hip and are leaning away from each other as if to create a shape in the negative space between them. Leonardo gives us the chalice. Mm, yes. Oh, and Robert, uh, notice what happens when these two figures <laughs> change position. Just because Da Vinci painted it doesn't make it true. No, but history, she does make it true. Now, listen to this. It's from the Gospel according to Philip. Philip? Yes, it was rejected at the Council of Nicaea, along with any other Gospels that made Jesus appear human and not divine. And the companion of the Saviour is Mary Magdalene. Christ loved her more than all the disciples and used to kiss her But this on says the... nothing of marriage. Well, actually, um, Robert, Actually, in those days, the word companion literally meant spouse. And this is from the Gospel of Mary Magdalene herself. She wrote the Gospel? She may have. Robert, will you fight fair? She may have. And Peter said, did he prefer her to us? And Levi answered, Peter, I see you contending against a woman like an adversary. If the Savior made her worthy, who are you indeed to reject? And then my dear Jesus goes on to tell Mary Magdalene that it's up to her to continue his church. Mary Magdalene, not Peter. The church was supposed to be carried on by a woman. Few realize that Mary was descended from kings, just as her husband was. Now, my dear, the word in French for Holy Grail. Le Saint Graal. From the Middle English. Sang Rio of the original Arthurian legend. Now, as two words, can you translate for our friend? Saint Real, it means royal blood. When the legend speaks of the chalice that held the blood of Christ, it speaks, in fact, of the female womb that carried Jesus' royal bloodline. But how could Christ? have a bloodline unless... Mary was pregnant at the time of the crucifixion. For her own safety and for that of Christ's unborn child, she fled the Holy Land and came to France. And here it is said she gave birth to a daughter, Sarah. They know the child's name. A little girl. Yes. If that were true, it's adding insult to injury. Why? The pagans found transcendence through the joining of male and female. People found God through sex. In paganism, women were worshipped as a route to heaven. But the modern church has a monopoly on that in salvation through Jesus Christ. And he who keeps the keys to heaven rules the world. Women, then, are a huge threat to the church. The Catholic Inquisition soon publishes what may be the most blood-soaked book in human history. The Malaeus Maleficarum. The Witch's Hammer. It instructed the clergy on how to locate, torture, and kill all free-thinking women. In three centuries of witch hunts, 50,000 women are captured, burned alive at the stake. Oh, at least that. Some say millions. Imagine then, Robert, that Christ's throne might live on in a female child. <laughs> you asked what would be worth killing for. Witness the greatest cover-up in human history. This is the secret the Priory of Sion has defended for over 20 centuries. They are the guardians of the royal bloodline. The keepers of the proof of our true past. They are the protectors of the living descendants of Jesus Christ. <laughs>